Brilliant. Good. May 1995 sprung from the womb. A Tigrate College, she's coming to bloom. Hatfield Welfare, Durham University's best. Ah, oh, Izzy Hall, I know she's up for the test. As welfare officer, she'll listen to you, delivering supplies, drop-ins, and campaigns too. She'll give you trips to botanic gardens and cafe crawls, yoga, barbecues, and smoothie stalls. Improve the welfare room and our social media presence. This contender embodies Hatfield's essence. Student safety is her priority. She commands the stage with authority. Accustomed to risk assessment, she makes the personal investment. Your well-being is her primary concern. <laughs> Stuck in Mary's next year during Hatfield's renovation, vote for Izzy Haller and she'll be your salvation. Ensure you're never left out of your great community. She'll tackle student issues and offer equal opportunity. She'll work with societies providing their members with welfare, nightline trains. She'll handle your concern with care. Work with Divas Outrep so you've got your supplies. She upholds our confidentiality policy and doesn't compromise. <laughs> She's not just got the ideas, but the experience too. A senior duck rep, she fundraises and works with the DSU. She's managed her own exec to success. Bring on the welfare team, your senior welfare rep. Let's face facts, she's been a dream. Living in next where she's well equipped. She'll sort out the condom points and sure they're not pricked. Time management to plenty, she loves Hatfield more than empty. Enthusiasm and hard work above what counts as normal. She'll give you the best shag, formal. <laughs> When did you last see your Hatfield parents? Perhaps when things took a surprising turn of events. She'll encourage family bonding, more pastoral than physical. Izzy at the helm, parenting will reach its pinnacle. A new era awaits as Izzy's got what it takes. Miss Motivator, a team player, never afraid to up the stakes. With her on exec, she'll promote responsible drinking. A psychology student, yes, yeah, she knows what you're thinking. <laughs> Yes, I declare with conviction, her skills are not fiction. It's my pleasure to propose you an honour. Hatfield's exec needs you. Vote Izzy Haller, welfare officer, for you. Go for it. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. What do you believe is the primary role of the welfare officer and how would you go about achieving it? Um, it's clear the primary role of the welfare officer is to support every member of the JCR and how they sort of see fit, um, making it, it clear what, what the welfare team offer and what's available to them, so whatever they feel they need to take from, from welfare they can. So this includes advertising the routes they can take to sort of if they if they need support for, for whatever and whatever guidance they need that they know the avenues they can take whether it be coming to drop ins or speaking to a member of the welfare team or taking that hire to Anthony or Eleanor or, or university counselling and so on. Um, as well as that the key role is promoting issues um, through campaigns that sort of people might not feel are relevant to them and they haven't looked into too much but through through sort of subtly promoting ideas and holding events that are relevant to them. Um, that they might sort of seek further guidance if they need to. This year we have often opted to follow our own campaigns rather than the DSU suggested ones. Which campaign issues do you feel most passionate about and which would you look to run next year and should we always support the DSU campaigns? I think the DSU offer really good campaigns that are generally suited to students but often issues going on specifically within college might not sort of align with that. So I think the most important thing to do is see what issues are more pre sort of pre prevalent in Hatfield students and adhere to that, although sort of promoting and signposting to the DSU campaigns as well. I think the main campaigns I'd want to focus on are sort of student safety and mental health, as especially and especially well-being and stress sort of during exam season and summative season. But and, and the DSU do often cover these things, but Hatfield students might like them presented in a different way. With the potential relocation to Sochi Hall, how do you ensure that the welfare needs of the relocated students are met whilst they are living away from Hatfield? I think one of the most important things is to focus on livers out welfare, and I think next year part of that will encompass those who, who are sort of placed in Mary's for, for the first half of the year. Um, I do this by sort of having a really strong welfare team and hopefully members who are living over in Mary's as well, so <coughs> their needs are heard and <coughs> represented. Similarly, working with, with the Livers Out Rep and, and Social Sec, we can sort of draw the people living out back into college with the informals, as, have been as has been mentioned before, and sort of welfare events to, to support those people. Also, again, um, I'd like to, to sort of seek uh, forming a relationship with the Mary's welfare team and welfare officers there. As we currently are twinned with um, Chad's welfare, I'd look into sort of seeing if a similar bond could be formed with Mary's welfare to ensure everyone's sort of covered and supported. 
How would you envisage yourself working with the assistant welfare officer and how would you ensure that students saw both your positions equal in terms of welfare? Um, I think the, the relationship between welfare officer and assistant welfare officer is going to be a very mutual one. It won't be a sort of one leading over the other and I think that will be evident in when, when the assistant role is advertised and um, the, the new person will be selected for the role. Um, I imagine the, the two working together, as I said, in a very mutual relationship, so sort of compromising and discussing ideas and making sure if, if one doesn't think it's a good idea, they sort of address why. Um, similarly, holding welfare hours and attending meetings with Anthony and Eleanor on a weekly basis, as the uh, JWO and VP Welfare currently do. So just ensuring that it's, they, they sort of maintain the same standard in not only the welfare team, but also they, they'd feel free to come to sort of college officer meetings as well. How would you go about engaging students who wouldn't normally associate themselves with welfare campaigns in order to maximise the effectiveness of a welfare campaign? Um, this is something that sort of every welfare team in existence probably wants to focus on, and I really want to focus on this too. I think so many people can sort of shut themselves off from welfare and think that it doesn't matter to them because they don't need to come to drop-ins or, or don't feel they're having any sort of major issues. So I think the main thing is to make welfare not all about the problems that people might have, and although that is a main part of it, that we're there to support people, but sort of, again, sort of having holding events that might draw in a wider range of people. So also it's no secret that welfare sort of tends to draw in more, more females, and um, in order to have a more representative body, it would be great if sort of more, more males would, would sort of get involved just to allow, as, as the JCR exec is meant to be representative of the JCR body, I think so should the welfare team. So potentially holding more sort of male-oriented events, such as I'd really like to get some more sports taster sessions involved. So we currently only hold yoga, but I was thinking sort of more on the lines of boxing and things like that to uh, hopefully draw in a wider crowd. <coughs> Being in a welfare role is demanding both on your time and emotional energy. How would you go around and go about ensuring that your welfare needs are met? Um, I think in order to actually fulfil the role properly, you have to be sort of stable yourself and, and have maintained good welfare too. I think the most important thing to realise is that like the welfare officer and welfare team is still human as well and aren't going to be sort of perfect all of the time and might face issues in their own <coughs> life and university um, careers. So I think that the most important thing is to be aware that of the support networks around you because although you're advertising all the time sometimes you can become a bit obtuse to them so sort of going to the assistant welfare officer would be my first port of call and other members of the JCR exec to say sort of so in, in my case so if, if I wasn't able to fulfill the role correctly so they knew that what was going on and that it wasn't a secret and people wouldn't think um, I was just sort of slacking and then if if the role need if, if I felt I needed it that to then go to Anthony or Eleanor um, if I needed further support, but also family and friends and obviously support network in college would be there too. How will you work closely with the dedicated Livers Out Welfare Act to ensure that Livers Out have an equally sufficient welfare service available to them? Um, this is one of the key points in my manifesto. I really think Livers Out welfare provision isn't sort of quite up to standard in what it should be. Um, I think one of the main things is appointing, as we currently have, a senior welfare rep who sort of is more geared towards liver, Livers Out. So maybe that would include sort of actually delivering supplies to livers out who might not want to sort of trek into college for drop-in hours or might not check their pigeonholes very regularly. I think this would also cover, um, although the, the family role, uh, the sort of college family role has slightly moved over to livers out to still work on that together with them, ho hopefully holding more um, family events to again draw livers out in um, and make them aware again of, of what sort of avenues they can take if they need support in college too. Thank you, indeed. But, um, that's everything from us up here. Does anyone else have any questions they'd like to put forward to Izzy? Uh, yes, Dan? Um, what, um, what do you think you will do to make sure the welfare needs of any representative groups in college are met? So the question is, what will you do to make sure the welfare needs of unrepresented groups in college are met? Um, that's actually a really key thing. I think, um, as I mentioned, touched on earlier, I think as well as the JCR exec needing to be representative of the JCR body as a whole, I think the welfare team needs to be too. So one of the key things I want to actually really implement is work more closely with the international rep, the LGBTQ plus society, as well as the disabilities rep to really make sure sort of any issues that might be currently being sort of overlooked or, or not quite dealt with in full are really touched on. Um, as I think this would include sort of opening forums and actually researching as to what issues might not be being dealt with fully and what people um, think need to be uh, sort of looked into if they're, they're currently not. 
Thank you. Are there any other questions? Uh, yes, David? Hey, um, so you've had experience with the welfare team this year, and I just wanted to ask, um, would you structure it in any way differently, or how would you kind of go about it when selecting people? <coughs> <laughs> okay, and um, I think the structure of the current welfare team actually works very well. It's large enough that people, there's, there's lots of ideas being thrown around, but it's not too, too large that people sort of sit back and don't have a role to play. Um, I won't go through the whole structure of the welfare team because it will use up my whole minute, but um, I think the only thing I would perhaps change is currently there's a sort of supplies and communications officer who goes out and buys supplies, and I think maybe twinning that with a more treasury based role because I, I would like to think I'm capable of sort of the more budgeting side but I think sort of increasing the importance of that role would would benefit the whole team um, also the introduction of two campaigns officers this year has I think benefited the team greatly as well and that should continue and in terms of looking into who I would recruit for, for the future roles I think it's key in sort of drawing in a really wide range of people so starting from freshers next year and then, yeah, again, trying to get lots of people, different people interested and representative in the welfare team. Represented in the welfare team. Thank you, Lizzie. Um, are there any other questions? Uh, yes, Katie. <laughs> So the question is, how involved would Izzy get with the um, implementation of a a volunteer scheme for night time angels, night angels? Um, I think I I think it's well, it's obviously a really important scheme that's being introduced, um, and I I think the role of sort of college welfare should be quite strong, strongly related to that. Um, I don't. It, we've discussed this recently in meetings, and so there's, there's no, no firm decision has been reached yet, sort of as the whole scheme hasn't been fully decided. But I think, although I probably wouldn't directly run it in college, I would want a member on the welfare team who was sort of in charge of running that, and I, I would hopefully oversee that, make sure that was fully advertised in sort of college and social media, JCR emails. I would happily volunteer myself, and I'm very keen to. But I think having sort of one person dedicated to that will mean that's that sort of um, service is promoted more than sort of hopefully me spreading my, not spreading myself too thinly with all the different things the roles entail. Thanks, Lizzie. Are there any other questions? And then which, oh, sorry. Yep, Dan. <laughs> 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 positions on the executive committee have quite some time to have their own challenges, and sometimes the welfare of those members can be complicated. What do you think you would do if um, one of the executive members came to you and had quite a pressing welfare issue that, was, that you felt was compromising their role or their So just wait one second, we've got a, okay. another, <laughs> the, last, the last delivery coming through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the, the question was, how would you ensure the welfare is kept of the other members of the executive committee, especially if you thought they were having a particularly tough time at any time of the year? Um, I think a key thing is looking out, obviously, for the welfare of the members of the team. It can be very easy to overlook it when everyone's so busy, sort of completing the hours of their role and doing all their other various activities. So a case of sort of just checking in with people regularly and making sure they felt if, that they could come, come to me if they had any sort of issues. Um, as well as that, they, I, hope, I hope they would be well aware of the avenues they could take if I wasn't sort of their first port of call. Um, yeah, in order to maintain a sort of good, good running team, then the welfare of everyone on it needs to be sort of at, at the highest level it can be. But again, also taking workload off people if they felt they couldn't quite complete sort of their, their activities for the week. Um, I'd just be there to support any member in whatever way I could and, and sort of signpost and guide them. Um, for how they sort of would want it to be. Wonderful. Uh, any other questions? No? In which case, Lizzie, you've got two minutes. Thank you. Um, I believe and I hope you'll agree that I'm sort of not only the most suitable person for this role, but would, would sort of grow in it and, and excel in the role. Obviously, the, the structure of the welfare team's changed this year with the reshuffling of the exec. And I think, sort of, especially with the changes that might be going on with people live out living, in, living out in Mary's um, and all the changes in college, there'll be a lot of challenges to face next year. But I think, as, as sort of my, my experience has shown, 
and my commitment to this college, I, I think I would grow and excel in this role and I'd love to be given the opportunity to do so. Um, a lot of my sort of ideas are listed in my manifesto and um, I'd really want to focus on Livers Out Welfare, Livers Abroad Welfare. It's very easy to sort of forget the people who aren't directly in college and although I will be living in college next year, I want to focus much more on those who aren't always in and about college, who people sort of don't, don't regularly see and maybe don't feel as comfortable popping into drop-in hours. So for example, having an anonymous um, message service, which we've all started to discuss in the welfare team, um, and more sort of livers out welfare provision. As well as that, I'd want to have sort of um, water on tap at college events to sort of help sort of promote sort of safer drinking uh, in order to combat some student safety issues. And again, I focus really heavily on student safety campaigns and mental health campaigns to make sure areas that sometimes people don't really realize might be affecting them actually are. Um, so, and again, I'd, I'd love to sort of be a member of the JCR exec and represent everyone as best I can. So thank you very much.